Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 18 of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. But, I would say it was a shock lock. But there has been a few changes in this playthrough. Uh, I mentioned, see I'm back in Cerulean City, I'm back on Route 4. If you look at my party, I have my three electric types that we have had. And I've been asking, asked a question in the last video, I need to go heal. Asked a question in the last video, and um, about this the series and how it's going, and knowing there's only 15 possible electric types I can get with using the duplicate claws. So I asked you guys in the last video if I should continue playing the shock lock how I am, how I was. Uh, adding another type of Pokemon to it, or getting rid of the duplicate claws, and you have been heard. And it's really funny because when I did this on a um, group of my uh, group of other YouTubers, they all were leaning towards two types, so which were Ground and Psychic. So I looked at those two, and I did it again only using those two and the Shock Lock actually how it is and the outcome was unanimous so we're gonna catch our first our Pokemon here on Route 4 as you can see we have Plug who is caught on Route 6 Sparky who is met in Pallet Town and Lieutenant Voltage who is caught at Mount Moon we also have our Ampharos who was caught on 22 or 23 whatever it is but he has died so now we're going to catch a new Pokemon on this route that I know is here. So I'm just going to find it and look for it. And I will explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. Nope, that's not it. I swear it was on this route, so I know it's on this route, because this is right. No, nope, I don't want a Deoxys. Yeah, that would be really cool. You might have saw in the last video how I had to catch Pokemon from the Kanto region, so I could uh, get the HM for Flash. Yeah, Flash. And I battled a Mewtwo, <laughs> and I was fighting it with a Hypno I'd caught, and I'm like, I'm going to get this Mewtwo. One of the Pokemon. And I realized Mewtwo's capture rate is really, really high, so I didn't even try. So here we are. This is going to be our new Pokemon for this region. For this area, I mean. And yes, I know, I've caught an Ampharos before. But, as I said earlier in the episode, you guys have been going with me on this adventure and I want to hear what you felt about it changing and I did decide to make a change and I have taken out the duplicate claws so that means I can catch if I have caught a Pokemon on a if I've caught so I've already caught an Ampharos before in this playthrough just now I can catch it again since I've already lost one, but I can catch it again because I need electric types. So that's how I'm playing it now. There's no duplicates cause, but there is a stipulation to it. In, we had the magic carp that wasn't randomized, so I get I still get that opportunity to catch Pokemon. However, that Pokemon cannot be I cannot catch two of these same species on the same route. And this Ampharos would not want to go in this Pokeball. So if I wanted to, I could go catch another Ampharos. Without that stipulation, I could go catch another Ampharos on this route and have five electric types. But with it, I can only catch one and make my party back to four. So I'm going to stick with that as my stipulation. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we're going to continue with this playthrough. I'm getting sick of this Ampharos not going in a Pokeball. 
Um, 15, I think, at the beginning, and now I'm down to 8. Let's go in. Finally. I am sticking with nicknaming it and everything else, it's just the duplicate cause has been eliminated. So I have to name this, and I'm not going to name it Kenny because it's a girl. So, I'm going to name it... Cleo. Sticking with the Egyptian theme. So we have a new Pokemon with Cleo. You can see, if I wanted to, I could catch this too without the stipulation, but adding the stipulation it just gives me target practice. Unless it does that and it's, I'm just going to run because plugs are tearing the spot right now. So we've caught a new Pokemon. And we're still in Cerulean City. There's a reason I came back here and not just to catch the Pokemon. I was going to do this outside of the last video. Outside of this video, I mean. But I did get a bike voucher from the Pokemon Play Fan Club president. So we're going to get a bike, and this might make the videos go a little bit farther in the time that I'm using. So there's my bike. So I'm going to equip that to... I'm going to register that instead of my rod. I can use the rod still. So now I've got a bike, so I should make traveling a little bit faster for me. And we're going to go back to where we were, outside of Diglett's Cave, through the underground path. Oh, I can use it. Sweet. I thought I could. So we're back on Route 6. I'm just gonna try to make my way back. Ooh, that's a really cool pincer I think I You can see Plug hasn't grown very many levels. I mean, he did catch it with level 4. So. Alright everybody, we are back outside of Diglett's Cave, so we're going to continue out here. We have battles waiting for us, and we have Pokemon to catch still on this route. But unfortunately, we have not found anything. I'm leaving Plug at the front, just because it has the smoke ball. You think you can win, you may just be playing with you. Not if you have been watching my episodes. You should know I'm an electric type trainer. Oh, that was a powerful switch. Rapid right, spin's not going to do much. It shouldn't do much. Nice punch. Nice. Now I'll get you a level up. So now I got level up plug and um, Cleo. It's like they want me to kill them easily. I'm going to just feel that I was going to get some experience too, but that's not a very favorable type. It's not a favorable matchup. I don't like it, so I'm going to do some healing. I'm going to read the potions, no. No, I do have something to sell. So actually, I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Mart and I'm going to have a few things, and then sell a few things. 
because I have stuff to sell. I'm not gonna use a dire hit. Just gonna get money. I'm not gonna use wave mail. I can use a guard spec. I'll keep that. I don't need a repel. Focus band's always good. Pearl I can sell. So I'll never use it. The rest I think I'm okay on. Yep. Now I'm gonna buy a few more super potions. Double what we have in here. We get double the Pokeballs. Check and see what we, everything else we have. Antidotes are good. Paralyzed Heal. Those are good. Awakenings. I could buy two of those. Nice Heal. I'm gonna buy one just, just in case. So that was a good run with Poke Mark. Now we're gonna continue. Back on Route 11, battling and catching Pokemon. So come here, guy. I should have healed while I was in there, but I don't want to run back, so I'm going to use Super Potion. 24 of them now. I'm gonna plug I'm back out. I'm gonna give the plug rid of that smoke ball and I'm gonna give the focus band to Cleo. I'm going to switch plug and play up. I'm going to let this guy come back and officially realize that he needs to badge on me. <laughs> I'm going to try using Cleo to take this down. Hence why I'm using the Thunder Wave just to. Oh wow. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. But look at the 150, 150 on the level, so. I'm not gonna stay here forever and do this, so I'm gonna throw Sparky in. And double kick it. Nice shot. But what do you expect when it's 20 levels higher? <laughs> then we get a level up. It gets two. And we go, no. Sparky almost got one too. Yes. I'm gonna send the Cleo. To get experience. We have no chance against this bell ring. With the bell ring, sorry. So I'm gonna throw a new team at the world team. She actually does. Static, dang it. Psycho boost. Because it's a fighting type. Now, I mean, that brings up a really weird question because that's a, a grass fighting type is really weird because grass usually is special moves and fighting is physical. So I don't really know how that works. It's, I guess it's just a well balanced, even Pokemon. So answer me in the comments if what's, what's a weird typing for you. What do you think? Neo King. Terrible for electric types, but not terrible for infinite voltage. Who has a psychic move?
Grio's gonna get a few levels here. Only one. Well, just almost get one. I don't know if Cleo can actually bite and take this out, but I'm gonna see if we can. Because the psychic flying, so. Because the flying type, Cleo might have a chance. If it gets one. Sparky just can finish this Thundershock it. Alright, this will use packed. Uh, double kick. Could be very, very ineffective. But it will still take it out. Marco. Now Cleo probably can take this one out. Check if I save for it, then you should it. Dang. You didn't even need to paralyze. It's so nice having the Emperor's back on our team. I kind of miss King Amp, but we got Cleo now, so let's see how this works. One guy down here, and we get battle. Yep. Win, lose, or draw. I'm gonna say I'm gonna win. You're gonna lose, and I'm gonna draw. We're playing to kick your butt because this Weeper's making it hard for me. I don't think I've got anything good against Ground Side even with her spark again. They won't be super effective. Yeah, it's gonna lower my speed. I still should be faster than you. Not double kick being bad. I'll take it out. But it's 20 levels higher. Again, I have no idea how to take this out. I'm just gonna try Cleo and see how Cleo does. It's probably gonna die. Yeah, it's gonna be close. It's too close for me. Not enough power in it. I'm gonna plug do a couple damages through this thing. And your punch. And your punch. Nice shot, Claude. Let me see what I can find in here. Oh, so to let you know about um, my decision to make this just a shock lock without the oops clause was, I think I actually said this, but it was between ground, psychic, and without it, and the first time I did it, psychic really was the, was the one who barely surpassed the other two, but I we did it, so it was more condensed than just the three. So everyone did have a lot to choose from. And made the choice really simple. And everyone just decided, hey, I think it's better if you just keep it. How you been doing it? And god, that was powerful. Thunder Punch. And Paralyze. What? Oh yeah, Shell Bell. Let's 
so that's a good item to have. Because Plug keeps gaining HP, like two. I'm gonna keep splashing, I, just, I really wanna keep the battle going on, but I'm afraid you're gonna side game again. I think I got 17. Plug's gonna almost get there. No, I'm just gonna leave Plug in to take this. Gonna get punch. It's got rough skin. So it's gonna give me a little bit of damage and then the shell bell's gonna give me it right back. For some reason. Oh, wow. For some reason, I thought that it was gonna give a lot of damage on the rough skin, not just two. So we defeated that guy. I'm gonna grab this Pokeball, which is an upgrade. Good upgrade does. Isn't it for, um, I guess it's a, a key item in this game that you need to have. So we're almost done with this route, but I'm gonna end the shock walk after this battle for today. Because this video is gonna get a little bit long if I don't. So kept me on. I don't want to even mess with it, so Sparky's going to get this battle. Crit, nice. Double kick. we will change it to a fighting type on the first hit. So, it should take it out in a second. That's how it kept it on. So that's why I'm going to end the video for today. If you enjoyed watching this, please leave a like. Please comment on what you think about me taking out the duplicate claws and answer me that question about what type, what typing for a Pokemon do you not really understand and it's really weird in your eyes. And if you want to keep updated on this shock walk, because I'm going to keep doing it, try to post every day, even though I'm going to get really busy soon. Um, subscribe, and I'll smell you later.